how 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 hi everyone it's Kiara and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to the not so berry challenge now listen i know it has been a minute a minute since i uploaded the not so berry challenge much less a video but I promise I have a really good explanation for that. I have been having a lot of fun streaming over on Twitch, um, where we do also play The Sims 4, as well as many other games, Animal Crossing, sometimes we play Apex, a little bit of Stardew Valley, you know, a little bit of everything. So I've actually been having a lot of fun on there, um, but I am wanting to get back into my YouTube, so do expect more videos of the not so berry challenge hopefully i can finish it um, without stopping at any point in time but i really wanted to get back into it because i missed it i really did y'all and i know a lot of y'all are probably mad because i just haven't been here because i know alexandra she's tired of me she's been sitting in the save file for months and you know we just haven't seen each other so um before i do get started with this video i do want to make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll actually know when I do post a new video since I know it's been a minute and don't forget to leave a kind comment because I love reading you guys's comments and I like responding to them as well so um yeah back to this so the last time we left them um we were in a different house let's start there so I did actually end up playing a little bit on stream um for Twitch and we ended up building this new house because we needed more room. Why do you, we need more room, do you ask? I will tell you. Alexandra took it upon herself to get pregnant yet again. It was completely by accident. Um, I didn't plan for it at all. Um, not that she couldn't have another child, but uh, this house just wasn't doing it for me. So we ended up building this on stream. Y'all know I'm not really a builder when it comes to The Sims. I am more of a cast player and gameplay player player more than anything else but I think I outdid myself you know we have Rose's bedroom you know it came out looking a lot better than I really expected and then we have Jasper's bedroom over here you know he's just a little bit of everything since he's not technically needed for the the mint generation but you know, I think I did a really good job. And then we have Alexandra's office. Um, we have Arturo's workspace over here. Um, so I think it came out really nice. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, um, Alexandra is now pregnant. So we are expecting a third child. <sighs> yeah. Um, and so I played a lot on stream because here's the thing. Let me be honest with y'all. I'm going to be completely 100% honest. Getting level 10 on this career has been a struggle, okay? A struggle. So I wanted to play on stream just so we can get to that point to where when I record again, all I have to do is go in to work with Alexandra one more good time and she'll be good to go. Now we've got the 18 breakthroughs. We've completed the Chief of Mischief aspiration. Um, as far as her skills, we've got Logic and Mischief maxed out. We finished the Elements collection. The only thing we are missing is her getting to level 10 on this career. So she does have work in two hours. I'm telling y'all right now, if she doesn't get this promotion, we're we're cheating the system because at this point it's getting ridiculous. Also where we kind of left off, Ruby is now a teenager. Did I call her Rose? I think I called her Rose by accident. I'm so sorry, child. It's been a minute. Um, we have um, aged Ruby up into a teenager. Now here's one thing I didn't notice. Why is her performance so low? She's always doing her homework. She has been doing extra credit. I don't know why her performance is only so low unless we did just age her. No, she's been aged up for a little minute. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. As per the rules for the Rose generation, um, she does become hot headed, a snob and romantic. So, so far we've got those uh, traits of romantic and hot headed. We're just missing the last one, which is a snob. So we will be getting that when she ages into a young adult. So we are waiting for Alexander to get 
into work so that she oh yes get that notification if she's going to work soon now i just like to know why are the kids in school why are they even home one thing i will also say is when it comes to storytelling in the sims i am not that great um honestly i just play the game and whatever happens i just you know go with the flow you know what i mean but what I am trying to do is come up with better storylines, you know, not just playing the challenge, but actually giving a story for you guys. Considering how hard Alexandra has been, why are we all outside? Hold on a second. There's a perfectly good table where you can sit and do your homework and the same goes for you. Just, I don't know why everybody's just outside. I built this house for you, please live in it. <laughs> so with how hard alexandra's been a whoa oh we're going please let her get this promotion um so yeah like i was saying with as hard as alexandra's been working on her career and trying to get to that level 10 of the scientist's career and everything i think i want to look at it as so with oh no not not the aliens if you know you know that alexandra does not have a good relationship when it comes to the aliens oh god Okay, but yeah, so with how hard Alexandra's been working, um, I wanna put the story that, you know, Ruby sees how hard her mom works at her job, how hard she's been trying to climb all the way to the top, and that also lights a fire in her, and she also wants to be just as successful as her mother. So she works hard in school, she does her homework, she does her extra credit, she tries her best to be the best student that she can be, so that she can become a powerful woman in the workforce just like her mother. So that is the storyline that we are gonna go with as far as getting prepared for the Rose generation. She and as far as Alexandra goes, I with this with this child on the way, I just <laughs> y'all was completely unexpected. I let her and Arturo have one fun night and they repay me with this. And I swear I didn't press try for a baby. I thought I only pressed woohoo, but clearly they had other plans for me. Definitely, I don't know if, we're definitely not gonna have the child in this episode, I don't think, yeah. We aren't gonna have the baby in this episode just yet. She's only in her second trimester. So definitely feel free to leave some um, name suggestions in the comments down below, boy and girl, I don't know what she's having. I do wanna sort of keep this theme going that we have of naming them after elements. So any ideas that you have, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments. I do need to mix a serum together. Wait, I could have done it over here. Oh, wow, we have a lot. Oh, we really have a lot. Interesting. Can you do this one? So as far as relationships go, let's just let's just go down memory lane. So we absolutely despise Eliza, you know, as one should. Um, we did have run in with Brit Brittany's dead. Oh, she married Dirk Dreamer. Stop. Oh, I can't look at it. Oh, oh my gosh. We kind of hate Vlad a little bit. Um, yeah, we despise Caleb. I do remember that. If you, again, if you know, you know, because that first episode, if you haven't watched that, you might want to watch it because it was a doozy. But why is she nude? And she's got a hat and shoes on. Okay. Apparently we need to have a deep conversation with you, Raven. So we're about to become the best of friends for the next couple seconds. Announce unwanted pregnancy. What? I didn't tell you to have a baby again. <laughs> I didn't tell you to have another baby. That's not my fault. We also have um, some of the other packs installed that I didn't have before, I believe, as well as the updates, of course, for the game recently that we had. So there's gonna be there's bound to be a lot of different things that weren't there before. So forgive me if I seem like I don't know what I'm doing for the simple fact that it's been a minute. It's been a long minute since I've played, oh, you know, not even just Not So Berry, but Sims 4 in general. Use Simray on a Taurus. Well, can I have you change your outfit? I really wanna help you out. Put your athletic wear on, yeah. maybe. Wait, this is her general outfit? Are you kidding? You know what? I also did go through a cleansing of my CC, so that could also be an issue. That could also be the reason why she's literally just in her underwear. <laughs> Oh, look at her. She's so happy to be back to her evil ways. I love that for her. We've we've been working here so long that Cameron is old. That's how you could tell we need to go because he's old now. I'm going to do 
as much as I can, even if I've already maxed out the day, because I need Alexander to get this promotion. What's our inventory? Whoa. Oh, our inventory is huge. You guys, I keep getting this option to announce an unwanted pregnancy. I don't think she wanted this baby any more than I did. Oh, this poor soon to be child. But you know what? You made your bed, you did some things in that bed and you gonna have to live with this consequence. Okay, okay, she's really hungry. Oh, you can actually cook it. You can cook with this thing now, what? Seriously? That sounds wrong. Cause it's not a regular refrigerator. If only y'all could see my face. I am livid. How did we not get promoted? How? 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 Oh my goodness. It's like it's never going to happen at this point. And I know what I said earlier about cheating the system. Now I just want to beat the system at its own game because this is ridiculous. Oh, she's cleaning her mom's equipment. You don't have to do that. And then you're sick. I need you to take some medicine. I, this doesn't make any sense at all because she should have gotten promoted. Sure, Sapria, you can come over. Maybe you can soul Alexander cause she works, she does work really hard. And for her to still not have this promotion, it's something's not right. For Arturo, I know we don't pay too much attention to him because he is, let's be honest, he is a side character, but we still wanna make sure we do him as much justice as he's done Alexandra. So he's a level five of his career. Um, he's not doing too bad, you know? We haven't exactly been working on his objectives for his, his tasks rather for his job, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's um, talk with Supriya. Let's just oh, yeah. vent to her a little bit. Talk to her about how we've just been trying so hard to get this promotion and it just doesn't seem to be happening. Maybe she can give us some type of advice or something because we've been working with Supriya I think ever since Alexandra started I think we've been working with Supriya so she's definitely the closest friend that Alexandra actually has because as we all know she has plenty of enemies and you know a lot of acquaintances but Supriya has definitely been there for her since day one she wants to share her insecurities because she doesn't know exactly what's happening she thinks you know, Alexandra thinks that she's doing such a good job. She's on top of everything when it comes to work, but she's just not getting these promotions as easily as she should be, in my opinion. She's been working so hard. She's had two kids. She's got a third one on the way. She's never taken a vacation from work or anything. You know, it's just mind boggling at this point. What do you, look at her autonomously doing her extra credit work. I love that for her. I didn't even ask her to do it. She just automatically did it. Very, very, just like her mother to want to work as hard as she can, especially when it comes to school. Like I definitely, I definitely see that for Ruby. She's going to be so successful. Is there any test that we have to do? No. And her performance is really well. Maybe I should try sending her by herself. I don't think we've tried much of that. So maybe sending Alexandra to work by herself is the solution. At least it better be because at this point I'm running out of ideas. And also in the comments down below, let me know exactly what to do as far as these promotions because I've done the tasks, I've done everything I'm supposed to do, but she still hasn't been getting promoted as easily as she's supposed to be. <gasps> oh no, stop. Oh, I feel completely, I didn't know it was Arturo's birthday today. He's an elder. Oh, I am the worst Sims player that ever lived. I cannot believe I forgot your birthday. Now he's gonna be sad. Arturo, I am so sorry. I know I made a joke earlier saying you were a side character, but it, I'm starting to feel like I really put you in this position and I didn't mean to. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's time for us to hang up the bodybuilder career because now that he's an elder, when he works out even a little bit, even a tiny little jog, he's going to be in a lot of pain. Yeah, go ahead and just retire. It's for the best. Jasper's still not feeling well, so he's still feeling sick, which is 
very unfortunate and again I have no idea how to fix it since I can't have him you are not about to eat cake ma'am please use the bathroom your bladder is screaming is there breakfast in here no there's only cake okay so please make breakfast off to school they go oh she is in the worst of mood but she's feeling confident though all right I need her to work hard because if she's going to follow in her mother's footsteps she's got to do better in school because her performance is very low and I do need to get her skills up as well. According to the rules, she needs to have mastered the charisma skill. So that is one skill that we could work on since she's a teenager now. So I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that while I can. Oh, not our bills being, <laughs> oops. All right, I'm gonna trust that Alexandra can go to work on her own and come back with this promotion. I'm putting so much faith in her. And now I know as far as the house, um, there's a lot of free space, you know, in the living room and everything. But as you can see, since we only have 1400 simoleons, we actually don't have enough money to furnish the rest of the house. And I was glad I could get what little I could. Oh my God. How is this not working? Supri Supriya knows every single time that we get Rejected for a promotion. She already knows. Oh, she's gonna give birth in this episode. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna try is, because I feel like I've tried everything at this point, we're gonna buy a focused potion so that when Alexandra goes to work tomorrow, and we'll go with her, but when she goes into work, hopefully that'll do it. I I don't think I've tried that option, so maybe that's the solution. Okay, we're gonna join Alexandra for work. We have been fighting for this level 10 promotion for the longest time. She's still feeling very sad, oh my goodness, please. The focus serum is like right there. It's right there. I need you to be focused, Alexandra, please. There we go, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's 4 p.m. Already? We're gonna have to stay late. No! No, 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 Why did you have to be pregnant? So we have to leave. We have to leave. We have to leave. This is actually a nightmare. It's actually a nightmare. Please have your baby at the hospital. Bring your husband. Well, unfortunately, if you guys did leave names for the baby in the comments, they might be null and void since she is now going to be having this baby a lot sooner than we expected. Can we not go back there? There it goes. Okay, now I gotta figure out some names on the spot. Come in here and see the birth of your child. Please stop reading a book. <gasps> it is a girl! But what should I name you? Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. So after some harsh deliberation, it wasn't really harsh, but I think we're gonna go with Amber. I like that name, so we're gonna call her Amber. Please let it just be one. Oh, thank God. Because I'm telling you right now, if she would have had twins, we would have had to do this challenge all the way over because I was not about to sit here and have her have twins. All right, back home again with a brand new baby girl. Where did the game put her? Oh, did they actually put her in her room? Of course not, why would they do that? They put her instead in her sister's room. Okay, let's go ahead and move that. We're gonna do a quick little build by because honestly, I don't wanna stay in here the entire time. Wow, immediately as soon as she's given birth, she's on her period. Mother Nature wasted zero time. Okay, so um, today definitely did not go as planned. We were supposed to get a promotion. We were supposed to finally be done with the mid-generation. However, it doesn't seem like Wednesday was that day. So hopefully um, the next day is the charm because I really need this promotion. We need to, we're working on Rose generation, but how much longer until she ages up? Ruby has nine days until she ages up into a young adult. And then we have to start working on her part of the challenge. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to be working on two parts of the challenges at the same exact time. <laughs> I do think it's going to be inevitable. It's going to happen at some point where both generations do intertwine with each other. But I don't want that to be today. I, I don't want that to be right now. Okay, I fixed the wonderful whims mod i think it was conflicting too much with the slice of life mod and the menstrual cycle for that so i wanted to change that up and then alexandra's just straight into bed after everything which i don't blame her she's again she's stressed about work she was stressed about having another baby rightfully so she's just been going through a lot 
Why does she not like mac and cheese? What condition do you have? Wiggly stomach? What does this mean? This sim will feel sick from eating. They just have a really weak stomach. So what are you supposed to do? Is she just not allowed to eat anymore? What else is she supposed to do? I don't understand. Oh, cute little father-daughter moment. That is adorable. All right, so today's the day, y'all. Today is the day we get this promotion because I would hate for this to be yet another moment where we don't get it. Oh, it's Harvest Fest today? Stop, does this mean she's not going into work? Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. I think Alexandra is off of work today and that does not bode well for us because I still need her to get this promotion. All right, so Alexandra can go ahead and put some decorations up. Let's see what the house is gonna look like. It's cute. Oh, we have the little lights on the fence, okay. Yeah, the kids aren't going to school, so I think we have a day off today. Oh my gosh, this is not what I wanted. Not what I want. This is not what I planned. Well, since we're not going into work today, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode for now. Look at her, determined. She was so ready to go into work and get this promotion, but it seems that uh, the calendar had other plans. So yeah, this is where I'm going to end the episode for today. Um, next episode, I was hoping that we could start on the Rose Generation, focus more on Ruby, but again, seems like this game had other plans for us. So in the next episode, um, I'm gonna try my hardest for us to get Alexandra this level 10 promotion because she deserves it. She's been working so hard and you know, we've struggled to get even to level nine of her career. So in the next episode, I'm definitely gonna make sure that we grind as hard as we can Pull out all the stops. If you have any tips and tricks on how we can get this level 10 promotion, please let me know. Because as you can see, we've done the tasks. Her performance is excellent. Look at her just bawling her eyes out. It's okay. We're going to get you there, Alexander. We're going to get you there. I don't know what else to do at this point. So if you have any tips, please leave them in the comments down below. Um. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It feels good to be back and I cannot wait to record more videos for you guys. Take care. Bye. Like a